Hi guys, how are you going? It's Campbell here from Autodidactic and as always, Autodidactic means to be self-educated. So you want to be self-educated guys because believe me, you do not want to know what they are trying to teach you. Now, today's video is on a place in Sydney, Australia and it's called Paddington Gardens. And this is a shot of it, as you can see. This is the street level some nice old buildings in the background and they're walking down you know this wall they're going down a full level into these places with stone arches all right so what is this so this is this is it again like you can see this is <laughs> just classic architecture you know we've got the arches we've got the columns we've got the nice ornate <coughs> renderings and things now uh, this is during construction. This is a black and white, but it's not. It's not really an old photo. This was all rebuilt. Well, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not sure how old it is, but as the story goes, this was rebuilt into. Um, so what it was it, is, it was they're telling us it was a water reserve. So this they they dug a hole in the ground with all this ornate brickwork and arches and stuff. Um, it had a wall in the in the middle of it, splitting it into two tanks. And they stored water in there, um, and it was built back in the 18, uh, I think 1860. And um, so, yeah, I'm not sure how old this photo is, but the the deal is that they say um, it was shut down, I think in the 1920s, and the cover was put on it and it turned into a petrol station. Uh, and then in 1990, it was. Um, condemned and they basically referred it into this garden which is it's, it's really just a place people can visit and they have lots of weddings and stuff there uh, check out this curved brick ceilings that we see everywhere obviously the columns and this just looks like a bit of the original roof that's still standing so what I'm thinking here guys I'm sure you've caught on to it this this looks like the bottom floor or who knows, a, a bottom floor, an underground level floor of an old building, you know, pre-mod flood. And they've just um, dug it out, scooped it out, and it sounds like they've used it for a water, you know, to put water in as a water reserve. This is uh, one of the walls. Again, these beautiful arches. And is this a chimney? Like, what's this going up here? <clears throat> I mean... Why would they build this into a tank, all these arches? That, um, it just doesn't really make sense. This is another shot of it. Now, this looks like, you know, the top of a building maybe or the top of another floor poking through. You see the arches there, and you can see these one, two, three arches have the brickwork on them, so they may have been doorways or something. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's a small picture um, again columns um, that's probably the wall they were saying because that goes straight across they were saying divided it, it into two tanks this is when they turned it uh, it was covered in or filled in they say or covered or something I think they said covered because the roof collapsed later and yeah, it was made into a, a service station a petrol station and as you can see they, they're actually still driving in there so I think they were using some of the undercover area as their uh, workstation not sure what the year is but you can see how built up it is around here see another thing guys here's a petrol station again so you might go by these cars this looks like the 50s um, now Sydney was um, you know Australia was uh, you know found founded by the English uh, Captain Cook landed 1788 with the first convicts and um, so this reservoir was built they're telling us you know uh, less than 100 years after that the population was still pretty small and there's that bit again is that I mean look see how this goes into the wall that doesn't look like it was put on it that's a road or maybe this was changed but it looks like you know was that a chimney but you can clearly see, you know, the stairs coming down and the walls actually go a bit higher than the street. And who knows what's behind here because it's all been covered up. It's another small one. Arches now in here. Um, see what I might have gone in 
going to be too far, but it looked like there were indents. I know this brickwork, um, but <clears throat> maybe it's just the water, but you can see this has clearly been covered with something. There's brickwork under it, but, you know, we've got these sort of lines, these, you know, what are they called, striations or something. It could just be water runoff. I'm not sure about that one. See from here, see this angle, see how it looks like, you know, I don't know. Something's been covered up. <clears throat> Again, this is a, another bit of the roof that's standing still. Curved brick ceilings. It's just another part with lots of columns. Not the best photos, so a bit small. And there's a bigger one, um, clearly. <clears throat> you can see the car on the street here driving by. And we've got all these arches going across and, you know, pillars and ancient walls. All right, so um, where am I going? Oh, excuse me. Okay. So the history of Paddington Reserve Gardens. Paddington Reserve was the high-level uh, high reserve which worked in tandem with the low-level reserve in Crown Street, Surrey Hills in Sydney. Both designed in 1857, Crown Street was finished in 1860, but worked in up again on the Paddington Reserve until 1864, and it was completed in 1866. Ten years later, the reserve was enlarged at, uh, at the eastern end, creating a total capacity of 2 million gallons with a dimension of 33 metres long by 31 metres wide, depth of 5 metres now. Um, I've had a bit of a look into reservoirs in Australia. Most of them are these um, old water towers. Um, they're telling us we're reservoirs and then obviously most reservoirs are actually just man-made lakes so i mean has anyone ever heard of anything like this like where they dig a hole in the ground you know build it out with bricks and then fill it with water as, as a reservoir i mean it doesn't make sense why, why would, what's what's all the bricks and the arches got to do with anything it's just um very 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 strange um, that operated between 1878 and 1899, so, you know, it wasn't there for very long, guys. I mean, what's that, 80? It's, you know, 21 years. Um, it was commissioned, closed by bar. The reservoir was used by storage, uh, for storage by the water board until 1934, when it became a garage, um, blah, blah, fell into disrepair. Uh, until 1990 when the roof collapsed and then they've rebuilt it into gardens. Um, Paddington Reserve is obviously now it's heritage listed so as I do with everything that I want people to be able to sort of touch or you know do any research on um, and this has just got a bit you know built 1864 to 1866 um, blah 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 now um, as I was saying, whoops, that's not the right one. The population of Sydney, you know, European settlement began in 1788 and in 1800 it had around 3,000 non-Indigenous, non-Indigenous inhabitants. It took time for the city's population to grow and in 1851 its population was only 39,000 people compared to Melbourne, which was 77. So um, you know, 40,000 people in the 1850s. This was built in the 1860s. So, you know, we're talking a population of sort of, what, 50, 60,000 people in in Sydney. Okay, that's in all of Sydney. Um, this is just the convicts, just so uh, you were brought between 1788 and 1868. So when this was built, it was just around the time that the last convicts were being brought in. Um, and of course, who were the convicts, guys? These were people that were being shipped out to Australia from other countries, um, put here and sent to work and told a false history, basically. So, um, yeah, what I'm trying to say is there was not that many people in, in, in all of Sydney, let alone one um, suburb called Paddington. Now, if you read here, it says Paddington, this suburb, uh, took its name from the London borough, which lies blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, only a handful of workers lived in the area and it was not until 1838 
when it was decided to build a new military barracks in Paddington that life came to the area. From 1848 when Victoria barracks had been opened, blah, 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 soldiers came in and suddenly everything, <laughs> there was all these people. Once the soldiers and their families moved in, shopkeepers followed, builders, uh, builders put up around 3,800 houses between 1860 and 1890. These terraces give today's Paddington its air of individuality. The first school in the area was built about 1845. So we're talking, um, you know, these times, uh, sort of 40, 50,000 people um, that lived in, pa in Paddington and they built this. Um, let's see if I can find it. Sorry. What they built was uh, this Victoria Barracks. Okay, so just coming to life here. So, this is what they built, guys, in 1848 when there was, you know, what, let's be, you know, it's like 30, 40,000 people in all of Sydney, and they built this barracks. Just in uh, that's you know, so this was in Paddington. Um, this is an old photo again. Now, this says down here, you can't quite read it, says Sudan. This is uh, when Australian troops were being sent off to the Sudan, and you can see what's built up in the background. There's houses everywhere, and this was supposed to be the late 1800s. Um, now, what happened, you know. The, the convicts had only stopped being sent over sort of 30 years before, so it's convicts, you know, they have their kids and they're sent straight off to war again. Um, this is it again, this barracks, it is huge, it's absolutely massive. Of course, it's got a monolithic stone arch for its gate. This is a shot of it back in the um, 1800s. Um, this wall seems to be gone now. But look at the shape of that wall. I don't know. Kind of starry. You know, you've got a point there. Comes down to a point there, point there. I don't know. What do you think? Um, obviously, you know, the what we call Greco-Roman, you know. Uh, I've lost the word. <laughs> What's that? Portico? Is that what we call it? Um, but I found this interesting. You know, there's a couple of horse and buggies. There's basically no one in this photo, but there's a lot of mud all over the place. Even looks like it might have been dug out here, but this is what they were building, you know, with back, you know, they hadn't, you know, there was no paved roads, there was no cars, there was no heavy machinery, half the population were convicts, and there was only like 40, maybe 50,000 people. Here's another shot, look how long that thing is. And again, there's not that many people there. It's a massive building. This is the aerial shot now. <laughs> Just to get some perspective, look at the size of that. Look at that. Like, what, what the? And as you can see, the wall that I showed you in that black and white photo, it seems to have disappeared completely. Um, yeah, and there's some buildings here. I'm not really sure if they're associated. And then obviously what was in the back has been knocked down and turned into a car park. And another big one here. So this is uh, what they built, basically. Um, and this was, yeah, 1848, they built this with this, this tiny population. So, I mean, what's going on here, guys? Um, these are just some pictures again of, of what was going on in Sydney, Sydney, 1848. That's a castle. What are they building that for when they've got 30,000 people? And who's building it? Um, I'll mean, just show you a couple of these. It's not really what the video is about. I was going to make a different video on this, but you can just see that it's completely built out. Again, 1848. Look at that. Look at that. Pillars. The traditional greco roman portico. I mean, it's just sitting there in Sydney in 1848. What's it doing there? You can see this is, you know, early shots, but we've just got buildings built out everywhere. 
old churches, stone. I mean, how did they get all this stuff built? Who was building it and why was it built? Sydney, 1848, St. Philip's Church. Look at this, look at this beautiful dome, big tower. Because you put those in church, I mean, that looks so much like a church, right? Sydney in 1848. Looks like some of that building should, you know, is missing. Uh, Sydney Mint. These are all around 1850, guys. Domes again, walls. I mean, you know, it's all the classic stuff. So what's going on here? The population is basically zero, um, you know, and they're going around and they're building these massive buildings and, um, yeah, excavating huge holes in the ground, filling them with bricks and arches and turning them into water tanks. So there you go. I've gone a bit longer than I wanted to on this one, guys. Um, but yeah, there are just some things to think about in Sydney, Australia, uh, mud flood, you know, sunken buildings, old buildings, huge buildings. Why were they built? Who were they built for? And who built them? Are they just all out of place? So I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope it gave you something to think about. If you have heard anything about other, you know, um, res reservoirs or water tanks that are sunken, like, like the one I showed you, um, like the, what was called Pennington Gardens. Um, yeah, let me know. Um, it might be another thing that, 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 that they're trying to sort of explain away, you know, lower levels that, that were exposed after the flood. Not really sure. Um, but anyway, leave me a comment, like and subscribe. Please share the material. And um, as always, guys, be autodidactic because self-education is the way forward. All right, have an amazing day. Talk to you soon.